So guys, since we since I arrived in Australia, I haven't seen cassava, like mm. raw cassava, yams, blah 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 blah. Name them. So we are here at a market called Inala Market. It's in Brisbane. Guys, yeah. it has everything. Yeah. Everything. Let us show you. Okay. Inala is an incredibly multicultural area. Yeah. So we've discovered some yeah. really unique, but like, yeah, yeah, items here. But the thing that I've been like finding it difficult to find is white maize guys there's no white corn they call it corn no. there's no white corn here it's just sweet yellow corn yeah and it's not like the yellow yellow maize that it's in our country no it's very different this one is just meant to be cooked only yeah 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 okay um, yeah Imported from I don't know, but guys, this is um, good, and we okay, are going to cook it for breakfast. How many pieces? Three or five? <laughs> I think two, because we're going to take the other two. Sure, babe. Start off with two. That sounds good. Very rare to get this. Yeah. My inner me is very happy. <laughs> I think two pieces are enough, right? Sure, babe. Yeah. Hey, it's great to know this is up here, Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Going to ground and see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like you're not even in a show. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm in a certain like African country, oh, right? Me too. But, but Vietnamese people. <laughs> I feel like we're in Africa, but with Vietnamese people everywhere. That's a good idea, Queen. They're going to be amazed about this cassava. Yeah, I, I've only missed cassava, especially mm. cassava. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen this in Australia. Yeah. You've yeah. never eaten cassava, honey? <clears throat> only with you, yeah. Me? Where? You have, I haven't prepared cassava when you visited. Well, I thought we had some of it in the village, did we? Because some cassava or not? The village. No, it was uh, cassava with garlic. Ah, Not cassava. that's what I'm thinking. It wasn't here already. That was the brown stuff, right? Yeah, the brown that's, with garlic. Yeah, that's what I thought. But that's not raw cassava, that's just... No. Yeah, sure, babe. It's amazing. Well, it'll be fun to go there, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like it comes from Nigeria. Those people are lying to me. <laughs> I know what you mean. It could. Maybe. That's what I thought originally. It have to have come from Africa. I think I suppose Nigeria. Mm. Maybe. Maybe they are growing well. That's what it was. And she did say, yeah. But mind you, she wasn't speaking very confidently. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I can't. I believed her, but. And Anala does have farms, like it does actually, weirdly enough, outside of the ghetto <laughs> urban like, areas. Is cassava growing, like from farming, really like rampant here? Or no. Everywhere I've been farming, even heard of it. No, it's a specialty area. Uh, it's not. It's not common at all. Like if you asked anyone in our, in our family, yeah. have they even had cassava? None of them would have. Maybe. 
Leroy only because he's from South Africa. Maybe Leo because they've spent time there, but no one else would have. No one at all. Because it's just not something that's eaten here. It's awesome. It's really cool that we have it. I think this will be enough for tomorrow for breakfast. Right? It's a great idea, babe. Wow, we're going to have it for breakfast. That's amazing. Love that. Yeah. So yeah. How do you cook it for breakfast? Do you mix it with milk or what? Or, things like that? or do you cook it in a pot? <laughs> mix with what milk? I don't know. No, no I just wash it like this. Yep. Yeah. How do you cook it for breakfast, though? I'll just wash it like this and put in a, a, par, a pot. Do you mash it, do Add you? water. Yeah. And let it boil. Oh, okay. But you don't mash it? You can, but... Yeah. Uh, basically, How do you... I love it all like this. Yeah, cool. You, But you can mash it when you want maybe to uh, ma uh, mix it with either beans. Yeah. Cooked with stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying it would be good mashed with beans, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Whatever you want, Queen. I'll just follow your lead because this yeah, is your special Yeah, it's okay, thing. but I think we have sweet potatoes. We'll mash it with beans. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, cool. Love it. So, guys, I'm now going to prepare porridge. And as you can see, I'm adding lemon. And, guys, it's so difficult to get, uh, to find, uh, porridge flour in the supermarket here so uh, i'll just going to prepare oat porridge what i normally do is i mix the 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 lemon into the water meant for porridge then i added the oats in the blender together with the milk and i blend it to make a paste because i don't like uh, eating porridge when uh, eating the oats when it is still warm I have to blend it as you can see I am blending it then I will add it into the boiling water in the boiling water uh, it, there is a mixture of lemon and uh, honey so I prefer using honey instead of sugar because it's a natural which I really like it and yeah keep on mixing it until it forms a paste it gets thicker and thicker and add uh, water to make it slightly moderate not very thick and wait for a few minutes our porridge will be ready
cassava is ready mm. and I've made tomato soup with the cassava. Looks amazing, Queen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm about to serve porridge. Thank you, love. Appreciate it. Okay. So this is oat porridge. Yummy. Mm. In this porridge I've mixed Kefir milk. Kefir oh, yeah. milk, it's like fermented milk here. Right. Yeah. And fresh milk. Um honey. Okay. Then yeah. lemon. Oh yeah, you've been doing the lemon lately, haven't you, babe? That's like a new little invention that you've created. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Guys, if I'm craving for porridge, I'll just blend the 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 oats mm. to quench my to quench my thirst right for porridge <laughs> craving yes quench my thirst <laughs> Look at this. This is the porridge. Looks yummy, right? <laughs> the porridge looks yummy, right? And the tomato soup and cassava mixed together with yams. Yummy. First, done. Oh, this looks great, Queen. Can I bring it out for you? Can I bring some bowls? Yeah. Really good idea. Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah. yeah. The one is cassava. Yeah. We chopped it last. Right? Yeah, that's right. So, Queen. yeah. You just take cassava, so this is tomato sauce? Right. Tomato yeah. soup or tomato <laughs> sauce. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you just take like cassava, uh, like this. Yeah. Dip it. Sure. Mm, okay. Awesome. Let's try mm. cassava. I'm using this. Oh, that's good yeah. to hear, Queen. Mmm. It is. Wow, well, who would have thought we'd find fresh cassava, eh? Mm. Yeah, in Brisbane. <laughs> like in the village, whenever I travel from Nairobi to the village and I get like the cassava ready to be like to be eaten or ready to be harvested right first thing i do is i i just go and dig out like some cassava and eat it raw because i'm oh, really? used to eating cassava raw really yeah but do you peel it or you have the skin as well no you peel it okay you see it's only peeling it tastes like the the, yeah. the, 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 the 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 peels are not eaten but you can ferment the peels to make some traditional liquor. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, I saw how excited you got, Queen, when you saw the cassava mm. in the grocery store yesterday in Anala. So, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that cassava's good, babe. I'm a fan already, Mama. I'm a fan of cassava. So you've never had cassava before? Not like this, no. Oh my goodness. Nope. Mm. I don't blame you. 
Well, as you can see, why would I get it? You know, mm. it's not something that's um, yeah, that's common. So here in Australia, it's just not. So it's great that we found somewhere. Mm. Yeah, it's brilliant. So good. Cool. And I will leave the rest for mom to try out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah actually, actually, she will find that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. She'll probably want the suit though with it. That's the only thing. Yes, so, yeah. So, yeah. I know how she likes a bit of flavour. Mm. Yeah. There's some in the box. Oh, oh some soup? No. Oh. The, the cassava and. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool, babe. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, you haven't tried the yams. Mm, well, I have, have had yams. Remember our cigarette? Try so this one. And I think I did in the village too, Queen, I want to say. Yeah, but even the I'll village, yeah. 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 It was brought from grandma. Oh, really? Because grandma's areas oh. are like a little bit swampy. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yams, it's not yams, arrowroot. Arrowroot, yeah, I remember you saying. Is there a difference? Are there yeah. There is a difference. Oh my similar, god. Right? I, I get confused about yams <laughs> and narrow roads. Yeah. There is one that's grown on dry area that is. That's right. Yams. <laughs> 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 then in wet or muddy areas, swampy areas, it's. Arrow road. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing our best. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good, babe. Actually, I do recall you mentioning that. There was one that was. Cooked. Yeah, that's grown more in dry areas and then mm. others grown yeah, grown in more swampy uh, wet areas. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. So good. So good. I don't think if they have like a server from Nala, that lady like to us. I oh, think yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a Nigerian. That's what there are a lot of thinking. Nigerians over there. And mm. the other day on TikTok I was just searching like um mm. fresh groceries african groceries okay. and there's this lady that came like um this this video that came up and appeared and yeah. it was showing like a lady selling fresh cassavas mm. yeah in australia yeah in mm. brisbane or in brisbane then i saved it yeah. i don't know if i saved it or i was doing anything else and i forgot then when i went to search i've never i never found it so yeah yeah i reckon you might be right yeah because maybe that lady who I was speaking to, who was, it seemed like she maybe, uh, knew Vietnamese a lot better than English, yeah. maybe she didn't quite understand what I was going to say. Yeah, because I will help out. As you know, I do. But guys, seriously, this is amazing. This cassava, I've never had like just fresh cassava like that. I had, I've had meals with cassava flour included in them. But yeah, this is um really remarkable, babe. So thank you for introducing me to it. I think it's one of my new favorites. <laughs> and especially with this soup. Guys, this soup is delicious that Helen puts together. Mm. It's amazing. Do you want some more as well, babe? I think I'm full. Okay. We can save some for mum anyway. Yeah, there's some in the pot, so... Oh, that's it. Yeah. Too easy, yeah? Yeah, you enjoy as much as you can. Mm, thank you, mum. Appreciate My beans are ready. I soaked them overnight and really well soaked. So I'm gonna just cook this for like 35 to 40 minutes. It will be ready because it's already soaked, which is really good. And I will serve it with chapati. I we actually met like um a Kenyan who was selling chapati like in a van was it a van it, yeah it's in a van yeah. yeah and when we went there i wasn't i didn't even see that but my husband was like oh my god karibu kenya that's a van of a kenyan selling kenyan cuisine and we went there the first thing i asked is chapati 
because chapati here it's not tasting like the chapati I'm used to <laughs> and I don't know which flour to buy because there's a time I bought a flour here to make chapati and it ended up being like kaimati <laughs> so it was really nice I bought some chapati and it was prepared by a Kenyan lady oh my goodness yeah so guys i'm going to drain the beans the water from the beans yep mother-in-law is coming uh, for ketchup with us and here I'm going to uh, fry some beans to eat with chapati chapati dondo <laughs> yeah I've really missed beans so I've, I'm preparing beans uh, to be eaten with chapati that is roti here and also um, of my potatoes sweet potatoes with the beans and yeah i think i'll i'll do that and give it to her and let her try it out and rate it if he, uh, if she she's eaten that before or not if not then this is the first time we are making our mother-in-law and my husband try this traditional cooking from me because this is what we used to eat in the village guys <laughs> We used to grow potatoes, beans, and it's really, really giving. Mm -hmm. 